Hi, uh, today we're going to talk about, well this is a Vermont life from 1955-56. It's got a picture of Waits River on it. And I wanted to talk about, there's a, specifically one building, but there's more to tell about this whole photograph here. But 55, that means I was uh, 7. So I was, knew everything was in the prime of my life. But I'm going to set this down, and Lisa's going to come over. Have I got a pen? Yeah. So, what I wanted to talk about, well, like I say, this is Vermont Life, 1955-56, and they're great magazines. Gosh, I got a bunch of them here, and they sell for like a buck or two a piece. They're great reading, great photography. Okay, if I had a closer picture of this girl, I think it's a girl walking up through there, I'd... I would know her, I'm positive I would know her, but I don't, that it might even be my sister, my older sister walking up through there. But the one thing I want to talk about mostly is this, sh well, it was a shack. It was a mill house, there used to be a big bobbin mill, Flint Brothers, just down, just down here. And they had a shack here and a shack on the other side of the mill, and the mill help lived in there, and at the time, there was a family by the name of Laird, that lived in there. Pearlie, and I don't remember what his wife's name was, but they had several kids. I remember Franklin was my age, and Robert was older, Lillian was older, uh, there was Elwin, was, they were all older, just, but Franklin was my age, and we were good friends. Went to school together. So anyway, I lived up here. Come up around the corner, and I lived up here. So whenever I went over through to go to the school bus, which would stop right here, or go to the store and get my Snickers, I would always walk down through this way. Just about anywhere you wanted to go, you had to go down that road. Well, there was always people living in there that, at the time. And two things. When I'd go by, if the snow was good, I'd get myself a snowball, and when I went across, I'd lob it up and try to land it in that stovepipe right there. Very, I think I only hit it really once, and it went right down the stovepipe, of course, right into the stove. <laughs> I got the hell out of there, so I don't know what happened, but it couldn't have been good. Now, I was always doing that, and another thing about this place was right here on the corner of that building, there was a back house. And it was really efficient because what would happen is if you happen to be walking by just the right time, you'd hear that somebody scuffling around in the door slamming. And somebody would go into the back house and take a dump. Well, it hung out over the river. So whatever they did was right in full view of the public. So if they took a leak or something, it would go splashing down in there. Or if they took a dump, there was a rock down there and it would go down and go splat on that rock. God, it was great entertainment. You couldn't ask for a better show, but of course, whenever it rained, the river would come up and wash it right off. It was very efficient. This is Milton Partington's garden here. This was Sawyer's, Clint and Gladys Sawyer. They came in there in the late 40s. Victor Welch's place, he, there's a lot of people moved in here right after the Second World War. Big turnover. This, of course, is the Waits River Church. Eleanor Gendron, Bill and Eleanor Gendron lived up here. You can't see it, but there was a little brown house. It was called the, the Nut Brown House because there used to be a family of nuts, N-U-T-T, -T, that lived there. Story, great story. We used to deer hunt all the time, and Eleanor was a not a deer hunter. She was just a housewife. But we talked her into going up and setting up here, and we were going to push this thing through because it was doe day and you could shoot a doe. So we thought, well, maybe we'll get a doe to go by her and they'll get a deer for the freezer. So you could only shoot doe. We, a couple of us come around, push through these woods and pushed a beautiful 10 point buck right by her. She was hopping mad when we come out of there. Oh, she was mad. But just another story. So I guess that's kind of it. These elms are gone now, and they just redid the bridge. That's sh this is all gone, all gone. They just cleaned that right up. It never burned, it just fell in, and they 
I don't know, bulldozed it or something. But a lot of this, like that building's gone, the silos are gone, that little, I don't know if that was a corn crib or what that little building was there, but that's gone now. Now there's an addition on the church. But still looks pretty much the same. I mean, it's hasn't changed that much. So that's my hometown, Waits River. And boy, am I glad I grew up there. A lot of great memories. Thank you.